Hey darlings, it is officially autumn, which means I'm on the lookout for the perfect autumn dress. So today we are in my favorite department store, Harrods, to have a look. I am currently in Bonn because we need to try some of the dresses as you can see behind me. I'm very excited for that. And then after we're going to pop by Zimmerman, see what dresses we can find there. And I think for me, what I'm looking for is dresses that you can wear in autumn with boots that can keep you looking chic and put together with minimal effort. So you just throw it on, have your hair and makeup done, put on a pair of boots and you're good to go. So let's try and these dresses. This is nice. Oh, I love, I love. Do side profile because we've got bum here. I love this. No, I love a white. I absolutely love essays who really hype you up and they can like picture you in the dress. I know it's partly their job because they want the sale, but at the same time, it's like, yes, <laughs> hype me up so I spend my money. No, I'm joking. I'm not even buying anything today. I'm literally just looking because I want to show you guys what's out there. And I love window shopping and I love this dress. I really like it. Now, would I buy it? I'm wondering because, you know, the size 38 would just be too tight. I've got the size 40 in this and I like it. It's not too tight fitting, but I'm wondering if I would get annoyed at the, the kind of ruching and like bagginess, if that makes sense. So... I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this is this worth buying? I think it's really cute though. I'm really looking forward to, oh, if I can locate it, this one right here. It is a, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's just stunning. That's absolutely what I look for in in an autumn dress. Ribbed or boucle, bu buccal, boucle fabric and that they go with boots. That's my criteria when it comes to autumn dresses. So let's try this one on. Now this dress just screams autumn to me. I mean, look at the color. I would say perfect colors for autumn would be any color a leaf goes and then throw white and ivory and cream in there because my favorite colors and then you're good to go. The material, oh, the buttons, it just looks so classy, so elegant, so chic, put together and paired with the boots. Oh my goodness. You can imagine them with a pair of Givenchy boots and it would just look so stunning. If you want a good time whilst you're shopping, please come to Balmain because the sales assistants here are just, they're amazing. They got me the Givenchy boots that I was just telling you guys about. They went and picked it up for me so that I could try it with the dress and I just, they make your fashion dreams come true. So please come to Balmain and enjoy your shopping experience. I did get this in a size 40 just because, again, I didn't want it to be figure hugging and too tight, but I'm not sure if this would annoy me again with the other dress. I'm really not sure. Oh, it's so lovely. Caramel color for the win. This is Harvey Nichols, as you can see. Harvey Nichols. It's only around the corner from Harrods, but I just wanted to pop here so you guys could see the other dresses that they have. Now, this is a UK size eight. What do we think of this dress? I think I would probably size up, just because I've put on some weight. I would size up, but I think they go great with the boots. And I think it's a really nice autumn dress and it's a pale pink which is my absolute favorite color outside of white and ivory. I love a pale pink because I think, especially for autumn, when you're just transitioning in from summer to autumn, you want to hold on to those pastel colors for as long as you can. And I think this is a perfect transitional dress for that. How cute is this Balmain houndstooth dress? I just cannot, it is so adorable. Oh my goodness, it's in a UK size eight. The material is so durable, it's it's unreal. And if we look at the detailing, we've got the beautiful buttons, we've got the classic hound's tooth. It's just stunning and it goes great with the boots or you could of course wear the um, Givenchy boots that we tried in Harrods. I think the fit for this is perfect. I have no complaints whatsoever. It's such a nice dress that I wouldn't be worried that it's going to be riding up. It just looks like it's gonna fit perfectly and it's so chic. One of the things I love about this kind of a dress, the style of it, is that you can put a nice turtleneck underneath either a beige or a cream slash ivory or a black one, just underneath for one of those days where it's a little bit cooler. But I just think this is such 
a nice dress. I would wear it with a white cream cape instead of a jacket. I just think that would look so cute. Or a very short cropped blazer, like a black blazer or a cream blazer. And I just think it would look so cute. It's one that you just kind of throw on and you're already looking put together head to toe, throw on a pair of boots. As I told you guys, that's my criteria for an autumn dress. If you can go with boots and it's knitwear or it's ribbed or if it's just heavyweight, it's an autumn dress for me. And this one I absolutely love. This is getting a 10 out of 10 from me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Which Balmain dress do you love the most? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the dress that I was most excited for, but now I have it on, I don't know because the cleavage is a little bit too much. I don't wear things like this out in public. If it was like up to here, then it would be a no-brainer. And then if it was just a tad bit longer, but I just, I love the material. The fabric is everything. The shoulder pads, I love the shoulder pads. And then again with the Givenchy boots. Oh, what a dream. Oh. This is actually in a size 38 because the size 40, it looks like a boat on me. It's so large, but I just, if they had like an in-between size, that would be absolutely perfect if they had like an in-between. But I just think it's so pretty. But another thing is, if I felt like if I was walking about, it would ride up. I'm convinced it would ride up, but it's so stunning. I love the detailing. You just look effortlessly chic and put together. Christmas party dress? Yes. We're skipping Halloween. We don't celebrate Halloween on this channel, so. Maybe Thanksgiving if you're in America. Or straight to Christmas. It's so pretty. This dress is so cozy, but it's just not me. It, uh, I really like it, but if it was in white or in cream, there's just something about it being in black that I'm just not vibing with. I don't know. It is a lovely dress though. It's so stunning. It's warm. It's cozy. It feels like a hug and it's size 14, but it just, I, I don't know. I. Uh, I feel a bit too formal, I feel a little bit older, maybe for like a dinner party, like a Christmas dinner party I would show up to in this, but I just, I just wouldn't buy this dress, I don't know, I, I, I personally wouldn't, it fits like a glove, it is warm, I just, it feels incredible, but if it was maybe in a red, oh if it was in a red I would like it, I think it's just the colour that's throwing me off. It only comes in a black. So I can imagine it in a red as well. Red would be really nice. I feel like I'm going to a dinner party or something. And it does have that. But also black in, in general does have like a slimming effect, I think. Yeah. Like whenever you're wearing black, it just kind of does that. Let's see the back. Oh my goodness. Look at the back. Oh, this is nice. Now imagine a pair of Louboutins and you could just see the, the red showing at the back. <gasps> Stunning. I'm about to leave Balmain and I can't take off the pants. Yes, of course. It's you know coming. how many times I've yeah. Are you done a little time? Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, sorry. Because now it's stuck, it's stuck with the, with the sock. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So we're going to loose it up from okay. here and the other side. It's fine. It's fine. I think my heel is kind of stuck, so if maybe if we pulled it from under, the, yeah, from under. Okay, pull! Pull! Thank you! Thank you! This is it. This is the most perfect autumn dress. I love it. I just think it is so perfect for autumn. I mean, again, paired with these boots, or you could wear it with... The, I wish I I wish I had brought my um, Chloe over the knee suede boots because they just go up to here and they would have actually looked really nicely. With, they look can't speak um, and they would have actually looked really nice with these. So I just really like this dress. I think it's so pretty. I love the balloon sleeves. Very nice. And the frill detailing. And the, I like the fact that you can you kind of have to like wrap it through. Let's see if I put because I have the. Um, 
the moonshine dress, which is kind of similar to this one, and sometimes I just do this with the sleeves, mm -hmm. and it gives it like <laughs> switch it up a bit. Uh, yeah, exactly. Then wear it with you know heels or anything. But I'm looking for an autumn dress, so that's why I thought let me wear boots today, so I can see how it would look with boots. What do we think? What's the verdict? It's a very nice look. <laughs> Thank you. I I did have a peek at the other dresses, but I specifically came to try this one because I hadn't tried it. I think it fits so nicely as well, and it's just one of those dresses I can throw on and kind of just for, forget about it and not have to like fidget with it mm -hmm. or anything. And it's not tight. It's just it's perfect. This, in my opinion, is the perfect autumn dress. Perfect. <laughs> this Zimmerman dress is the perfect day to night transition dress. I just think it's perfect for autumn. The color is. It's just delicious. I love it. It's like a plush, kind of a dark, deep salmon. I don't know what you'd call it, but it's so beautiful. It's such a lovely color. The fit is perfect. It just feels so girly, but at the same time, you could wear it with a pair of dark chocolate suede over the knee high heeled boots and it would just look stunning. I think with stiletto heels would look great or you could just, I mean in boot form, stiletto heeled boots or you could wear it with just a nice nude pair of stilettos. I think the colour of this dress looked far better on the hanger than it does on me. I just don't think it goes well with my complexion. I think it meets my skin tone a little bit. I think this would either look really lovely on pale skin or darker skin. I think it just doesn't, I just don't think it suits my complexion. I think that one over there looked far better in terms of matching with my skin tone. But the dress is quite nice, very autumnal, almost Christmassy. I'm thinking more November Thanksgiving style, even though in Britain we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, this is definitely a Thanksgiving dress I would wear if I celebrated it. <laughs> they actually go really nice, well this dress actually goes really nicely with these Jimmy Choo shoes that I'm wearing. Please ignore the fact that I'm wearing uh, these tights with these peep toe heels, they only got these for me to try on with the dress just because I didn't think that this dress would go with the Ralph Lauren boots that I was wearing today. I think they'd go really nice with my Chloe boots, but I should have bought those, but I didn't. I'm sorry, darlings, but this is what we're going with, and I really like it. I think it's chic, it's effortless, it is definitely more of a transitional day-to-night dress. It's one that I would probably wear early autumn before it starts getting really nippy and cold and we know what this English weather is like very unpredictable but yeah I quite like this dress but my favorite would be that one and also the green Zimmerman dress let me know what you think what's your favorite out of the Zimmerman dresses which one would you buy what would you pair it with let me know I'm excited to know that is all for the dresses now I'm headed to Charlotte Tilbury because they have a new concealer that has come out and I have been waiting for Charlotte Tilbury to bring out a new concealer because I used to use their Magic Away one and I stopped using it because I didn't like the name. So now they've put out a new one so I'm gonna go and have a look at that and see if it's my style. I think I've passed it. Yeah, uh, now I'm going to try the concealer and see how I like it. If I can find it, that would be amazing. Oh, she's there. She's too far away. Scratch that. I'm not doing it. I'm I've got to go. <laughs> I've got to go. So I will chat to you in a sec when I get in the Uber. Okay, I'm now in the Uber so we can have a little bit of a chit chat. How has everything been? How have you guys been? I've missed you guys. I've missed filming. I've missed chatting and engaging with you guys. And I've just, life has been a bit full on recently. So I had to take a bit of a hiatus and I'm back now. And I'm contemplating posting two times a week. Now I know <laughs> it's just a thought that came into my head this morning. You, you might be thinking, Carl, you struggle to post once a week. What are you doing? Thinking about twice a week. But I just, I'm in a, a season now where I am much more able to execute filming and not have any things get in the way of that. It's just the perfect season for me to do that right now. So. 
I'm kind of umming and ahhing about it. Let me know what you guys think. First of all, if you'd even want that, if you'd even want me to post, because I'm conscious of not doing content overload, especially with the nature of the things that I, I film. I don't want it to be too much, so maybe we'll stick to once a week. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I would love that. Um, but yeah, how have you guys been? What have you been up to? I've been doing some personal work in this time that I've been away. Gosh, it's been a month. Yeah, it's been a month since we've last seen each other and I have been doing a lot of work primarily on myself in terms of getting rid of this people-pleasing side to me because it's exhausting. It is the most exhausting thing ever. More than physical labor, I would argue. For me, it is so taxing on my emotions, on my brain, on, on everything because, you know, I, I want... I don't know how to describe it. I feel like people pleasing stems from a fear. You fear that you're going to be misunderstood. You fear that other people are, are going to think that you're not a nice person when you know that you are, or you fear that you're going to hurt other people or cause an imbalance in the relationship or maybe even destroy the relationship by setting boundaries and and, and enforcing your boundaries. And, and that's where, I, where I'm at at this point. I'm working on being okay with communicating my boundaries and also communicating when people have crossed those boundaries. That's something that's really been big for me in this past season. I will most probably speak about what am I, the situation. I'll probably talk about that on my blog, which will be in the description box if you want to have a read. Um, I'll probably go more into detail about a little situation, but just in general, as a theme, in my life right now I'm focusing on getting rid of the people pleasing side of me and it's been liberating it's been hard it's been really hard because I've had to unlearn some things unlearn some truths teach my well they weren't truths they were lies and teach myself some new truths and just relying on God's word as well and there's this podcast that I listen to almost every morning at 4 a.m. when I have a cup of coffee I listen to The Messy Ma no, they've changed it. It was The Messy Masterpiece. It's now Mornings with the Masters. They are so dedicated to being consistent in uploading their podcasts every single day. And it's perfect for me because they're in America. So when I wake up in the morning, I get to I get to listen and it's it's just great. So they're currently going through a set of devotionals on boundaries and setting healthy boundaries, communicating your boundaries enforcing or reinforcing your boundaries and also confronting crossed boundaries with consequences which is something I've struggled to do and I just think it's great because it focuses on what the Word of God tells you to do and how you kind of navigate that and yeah so that's something that I have been working on and it's been really hard but so worth it I can already see how you know I am reaping the benefits of just being bold in that respect and yeah Apparently I never used to be that way when I was younger. I used to just say it how it was and it doesn't matter how somebody receives it. But yeah, I'm working hard now to get rid of that and go back to to that young fearless girl who just wouldn't allow herself to be crossed by anybody. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been working on and it's been working. I just started reading this new book, well, listening to it. Um, let me see. It is called Talent is Overrated. Let me see if I can find out who it's by. Uh, da, da, da. It's by Geoff Colvin. So it looks like this. I can... Okay. <laughs> it looks like this. And I listened to it on Apple Books. Or you could do it on Audible. But the reason I listen to it instead of reading it is because when you listen on 1.6 or 1.8x speed, it cuts down like five hours. And then you get to receive the information quicker, but you also get to, I'm an Audible learner as well, so it sticks in my head a lot, a lot more. And it means that I'm not restricted to when I can access the information, because I feel like when you read a physical book, it's lovely and it can be cathartic and peaceful, but you've really got to set aside time for that. Whereas with an Audible, I listen to it when I'm getting ready in the mornings, when I'm cooking, when I'm out and about, if I'm in, you know, doing things. 
and I just think that that's one of those things that just makes life that much easier learn and also multitask and do things so yeah that's my tip of the day <laughs> I'd love to hear how you guys have been what you guys have been up to I know it's quite open in the comments section so maybe DM me on Instagram I, I love talking to you guys so let's do that and on that note I'm going to stop jabbering on and see if I can find myself something to eat because I'm hungry I'll see you guys in the next video